Hey there, welcome to the 29th session. In the previous session, we have learned how to use the mutation for inserting data. In this session, we will learn how to use the mutation for updating and deleting the data. When we are adding a new order details, it will have the created order status by default. Now we are going to create a method using which we can change the status of the particular order. Let's create a new method for this in the order details service. Public cursing task of order details. Update status async. It takes the two parameter order ID and order status. Obtain the order details for that order ID. If we got the order details, then update the order status and save changes. At the end, return the order details and add it to the interface. Open Pizza Order Mutation. Add a new field. With the name update status. In argument specify the query argument of non-nullable int graph type. ID and non nullable order status in num type. Status Obtain value of the order ID. as well as the order status from the argument. And call update status async of the order detail service. Here we are getting an error. We just forgot to specify its written type. It will be a order details type. Run the project. Open new tab. Write a query to obtain the status of order whose ID is 1. A status is created. Open another tab. Write a mutation for update status. Pass the ID equals to 1. And for the status, it will automatically provide the suggestion as per the enum. Let me change the status to the in kitchen and obtain the order ID and the order status after updating. Execute the mutation. Here we got the updated value for status. You can also verify this in the queries too. We have checked the insert as well as the update operation using the mutation. Now it's a time for the delete operation. For this example, we will delete the pizza details from the order details. And after deleting, return the updated order details. Open the pizza details service. Create a new method. Public async task of int delete pizza details async. It will take the pizza details ID. Let obtain the pizza details first.
if detail exists then obtain the order id we need to return this order id after deleting the pizza details so we can return the updated order details at the end of the operation remove it from the db context save changes and return the order id or return zero if not found add this method to the interface open mutation add a new field name will be delete pizza details it will take the one argument of non nullable integer in resolving function obtain the pizza details id call the delete pizza details async and save the order id and return the order details using the get order details async save all the files and run the project in the query obtain the uh, pizza details along with the id and name here i am going to obtain the uh, details for order id 2 as it has multiple pizza details now i am going to write a mutation for deleting pizza details of id2 open new tab mutation for delete pizza details pizza details id will be 2 and uh, obtain the id and a name only execute it here we just got the pizza details for id3 only as the details of ID2 has been deleted. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Here is a mutation for updating data in which we have obtained the A2 argument and call the A service. Here is a mutation for deleting data. And here are GraphQL query that we have used for this demo. Stay tuned for the next session.